sit back. I'm going to show you guys my haul from when I went shopping. I am so, so black and <laughs> Hey guys, I haven't used this camera in so long. This is my G7X because I didn't want to lug around like my big mic, dead cat, and like my huge camera to the mall. So I brought my little G7X. She's cute. I haven't popped her out in a while. I'm at Julia's house right now. I'm just waiting for her, picking her up, and then we're going to go to Juliana, pick her up, and then us three girls are going to the mall. Yeah, we just want to kind of do a little bit of shopping. It's 4.30 because we all worked today. We just literally want to go shopping. We haven't been to the mall in a while, or I haven't been to the mall in a while. Hey! Okay guys, so we just uh, spent a hot dollar at garage. That's hot dollar. Like, hot dollar. Where was them? 200. 200. I spent 30. But I had a 25% off coupon. And I'm 60. I, we're giving garage all the profits for the year. I spent 230 literally less than a week ago. I spent 150 <laughs> less than a week ago. So <laughs> me and Julia combined well, have given garage all of their profits. <laughs> well, let's just call it like a thousand dollars. We officially finished shopping. After we just spoke to you guys about garage and about the damage we, we did there, <laughs> we walked ourselves into a Ritzia and did, and even, did even more worse. damage. Well, I had a gift card. Yeah, so. you lucky. I know. I didn't. With my gift card, like in total, it was 150. Juliana, oh, wow. 160. <laughs> Oh wow, you guys did some damage in there. Mine was 88. Oh yeah, <laughs> Julia, how much did you spend at Garage? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> she doesn't want to say. <laughs> this camera is so, I hate it. Like it's so zoomed in. Like usually when I go like this with my other one, it gives me a full body shot. This ain't giving me a full body shot. Fit check. <laughs> Let's do a fit check. Okay. Pants, H&M. Shoes, Nike. Tote bag, yes style. Shirt, yes style. Juliana. Shoes, Nike. Leggings, Lululemon. Top, Garage. <laughs> Sweater, Forever 21. Bang. <laughs> Julia. Shoes, Converse, pants, Walmart, oh, <laughs> TNA, jacket, dynamite, hey. <laughs> and Herschel. <laughs> Hello you guys, what is up? It's currently 11.45 and my gym appointment is at 12. So it is commencing in 15 minutes. As usual, I'm leaving a little late, but kind of right on time. So yeah, we're gonna get a good workout in. I'm going with Juliana today. It was literally so gloomy this morning and then it just turned to sun. So I, I don't understand the weather lately. It's been like really bipolar. It's been like winter one day and then summer the next day. Like it's really weird, but I really hope the sun stays for today. This morning, I was just really busy because I needed to get a few things done for work like right away. So I had to do that this morning. But but now I'm like actually starting the vlog for today because I just literally didn't have time like I was like in a rush So yeah, you guys the bachelor is starting today Like if you guys watch the bachelor or bachelorette, let me know down below in the comments because I want to talk about it Okay, I'm so excited for this season. I missed it. It's just such an entertaining show Like I don't know what it is about it. It's just so entertaining. So I'm so excited the new season starts today So let me know if you're watching it as well I'm gonna have Julie and Juliana over tonight um, to watch it. Yeah, we're all gonna watch it It's gonna be so fun. But yeah, I'm just gonna head to the gym and I'll see you guys there actually before I go, I just wanted to say that on the way to the gym, I've been listening to Heinz podcast. Um, I'll put it like up on the screen right here. It is so amazing and just puts me in the best mood. I like to listen to it sometimes more than like music while driving, especially when I'm just like going to the gym. It just puts me in the best mood for the day. Okay, I just got here. But anyways, as I was saying, I feel like listening to like affirmations or just good quality content in the morning is going to set the tone for the rest of the day. 10 out of 10 would suggest to listen to a podcast in the morning, like a good one, inspirational one. Okay, I'm going to go. Workout. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can't get you off my mind. Ooh girl, nah, nah. Ooh girl, nah, nah. Baby girl, don't need the flag. We just finished our workout. Dying. <laughs> this is a good one. You gotta get sweat, 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 sweat. Sweat, 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 My legs are shaking. And shout out Julia for being my personal trainer and giving us the workout. <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, okay, so I know I owe you guys a haul, so I'm gonna do that for you right now. It's 6.55. I was just editing the whole day. I did not even vlog like after the gym. I just made my protein shake, took a quick shower, and then I needed to get right back to work just because I had a lot to do today. Nothing was appealing to vlog, so I didn't vlog. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my haul from when I went shopping on Saturday because I didn't do that yet. Did a tiny bit of damage, so might as well show you guys. Um, I'm not gonna do try on haul because you guys will see me wearing these pieces in probably the next few upcoming vlogs. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, first place that we went to is Garage. They have such cute shit right now. So this is the first tank top that I got. I just like really love, I've said this a million times, but I just really love crop short sleeve tight shirts like this. Like they're just like my thing. I just love them. So I got that. And then I also got this one, which is like the exact same idea, but in a lighter blue color. I got these both in a small. And then from Garage, I also got this shirt in brown. And it's basically like a really cropped shirt, as you can see. It would just like spice up an outfit in the summer. It's just kind of effortlessly cute. And then I went to Aritzia. So I got these shorts. Okay, how freaking cute. Just like look at the color of these. Like this is one of my favorite colors right now. Like this foresty green color. They just like are the perfect fitting shorts. I'm going to be living in these type of loungewear shorts this summer. Like absolutely living in them. I originally went to Aritzia to get a pair of like jean shorts. But I honestly couldn't find any that I really loved. So I decided I'll look around before I make the commitment. Because their jean shorts are pretty expensive. Yeah, I'm definitely definitely on the hunt for a good pair of jean shorts. Um, next pair of shorts I got from Maritzia, they're to die for. This shade of yellow is just like my favorite. It's kind of similar to my top, but I just love the shade of yellow. Ever since I was like two years old, yellow was always my favorite color. But anyways, I'm obsessed with these. Can't wait to start wearing them constantly every single day. And then I got the matching shirt. The reason why I got this yellow tank top to match is because this one is like not the actual shade of the short. This and this is like a seamless match versus like this is like a little brighter. So that's why I got like the matching set. And yeah, that's my little mall haul. Oh my god, do you guys remember the movie Mall Cop? That's so random, but like I just remember really liking that movie when I was younger. The day literally ended up turning out sunny. Like it's sunny today. It only got sunny like a couple of hours ago. Now I'm just waiting for the girls to come over and we're gonna watch The Bachelor. Eh, I'm so excited. And maybe actually right now I'll go outside and do a little meditation because it's so beautiful outside. I feel like that's the vibe for right now. Mm hmm. I also realized that I have a lot of clothing that I need to declutter in my closet. I don't need to just clean my closet, but I really need to go through my closet and get get rid of things because there are so many pieces in here that I just have and I don't wear. This is why constant messes start arising is because I don't have like much room anymore to put new things. I think it's time to do a big declutteration. New clothes are coming in and old clothes gotta come out. Okay you guys so I'm currently outside obviously and I am so so blessed and grateful that I can just come outside and enjoy nature because I do live on a couple acres of land therefore we have like a lot of space. We have like a garden and trees in our backyard and everything which is just just, just feels so magical especially when it's the summertime and you can just come out here and relax yeah i'm just so blessed to live out here and get to enjoy the beautiful nature just literally outside my door sorry i'm like breathing heavily because i was like running in, in and out of the house because i got cold so i got it had to put on a sweater anyways i'm doing a meditation now if you guys are curious to do my meditations i use the app named calm and it's really really good it's totally worth the subscription because i think you have to pay to get like all the meditations but i think some meditations are free so if you guys want to try it out and download it because it's so good and it just like helps keep you on track you can also jot your gratitude down in the app like there's a lot of things you can do so i do really suggest it so yeah i'm just gonna do a 10 minute meditation this is called like the daily calm on here this is the one that i try and do every single day sometimes i'll just put on like a soundscape and not do a guided meditation but i feel like guided meditations just help me stay alert and stay focused but sometimes i am really in the mood for just like soundscapes relaxing blocking my thoughts out and that's about it yeah but today i am feeling like a guided meditation I'm kind of like scared that I'm going to be zoned out and then I'm going to open my eyes and there's going to be like a bear in front of me because we do have like bears and wildlife obviously around so I mean it should be fun. <laughs> I'm debating if I should lay down. <sighs> I think I like laying down. Like this is my beautiful view from laying down. Such a beautiful day. <laughs> is this weird? <laughs> I feel like this is weird but whatever. What a great meditation. Oh, I feel rejuvenalized. I'm just so freaking grateful for what I do, for my job, for the life that I live, for the air that I breathe. But seriously, I'm like so grateful for everything. And I encourage you guys to write down or just reflect on things that you're grateful for as well and take into account how many blessings we have in our everyday life that we sometimes don't even notice. It's such a beautiful life. I'm gonna get emotional. 
<laughs> also if you guys are on the fence about like meditation whether to do it or not just try it like just try it try a guided meditation like a 10 minute one even like a five minute one just try it i really encourage you guys to try it because it's honestly the most calming thing ever like so freaking calming and it's just so important to give your body that state of calmness in our everyday lives like we're so busy we're always doing something like we're always thinking we never really give our body that proper calmness to just be and not think about anything just to simply be so yeah if you guys are on the fence about trying it i highly suggest just try it once and if it's not for you right now then it's not for you right now at least you tried it but just the feeling you get afterwards is amazing Okay, so we're reporting back after the first episode of The Bachelor Eds. What, what are our thoughts? I can't believe she kept, I think his name's Carl, the cat suit guy. I can't believe Whoa, she kept she him. She really liked him. <laughs> I don't care. I don't sense. care. She made out with a man in a cat suit. He had like nose he makeup had, on. He and literally had face makeup on. And it rubbed off on her face, like all over her face. So there was that. She really liked the cat suit guy. I'm glad she got rid of the RV guy. Well, yeah, she did not like him. <laughs> Brings her into this nasty ass RV. And she's like, oh, he literally- He didn't like, even clean it. He was throwing around his dirty boxers in the <laughs> RV. So gross. That was disgusting. Who are we happy that she kept? Oh, Greg. Greg the guy who got, got the, the first, first impression. impression. Oh, Greg. He, he, he looks so sweet. He was the cutest from the episode. There was also a guy in a box who had a really <laughs> sil sleek back Slit hair. Slick hair. Yeah, if he changed his hair, he would. Me and Julia thought he looked like the great Gatsby, the guy from oh, yeah. the great, or uh, Leonardo DiCaprio plays I the great I think they all Gatsby. said that in the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so Okay, but that was our um, final thoughts for the for the rest of the season. But if I were to have to like, if I were to have to put money on someone who's gonna win, like just judging by that episode, I would guess Greg. Greg. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna go Good far. Night, guys. Yeah. yeah. According to these two, there's a guy on the show that looks like a guy we went to high school with. I don't think they look the same. <laughs> That's actually Juliana's crush. No, it's not. It was. It was. <laughs> Pretty much all of high school. Okay. Yeah. No, we can't put that in the video. Well, I had multiple crushes, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> No Put a little something in the video. For no. You. <laughs> oh god. That was our little spiel for the Bachelor. So we'll keep you updated every single week. If you guys are watching, which you should, because it's very entertaining. I <laughs> never used to watch it. These two are making me watch it, and I this caught. I got quite into it. I'm pretty excited. It's kind of like a messed up show in retrospect. Like when you think of a whole bunch of guys or a whole bunch of girls dating one person and then like getting engaged to them right after they're Literally. dating a couple people. It's really. It's just weird. It's weird to think that one girl is dating 22 guys, and after like a couple combined total of like two weeks of getting to know each other they're expected she's expected to choose somebody and marry somebody and like, obviously she doesn't yeah. have to marry somebody but that's boring if she says no to everybody yeah so it's kind of like a messed up show but it's very entertaining they told me i should go on the bachelorette if i don't have a long-term boyfriend or engaged by the time i'm 26 or married michaela can make me an audition tape to go <laughs> on the bachelorette i tend to start drama because i'm petty i just like drama you know so it she'll be be very good for the show and I am also very I'm also very blunt so I speak my mind yeah. so that's why you'll be great for the show okay shake on it cause a lot of drama so if she's single by 26 we're making her a bachelor audition that's in five already. years people five years if anybody wants to set up me and Julia on like a double date or something all right that's that's it for tonight <laughs> goodbye baby girl you're so fine I can't get you off my mind Ooh,